Today the world is smaller than ever. Modern technology allows us to talk face to face with someone thousands of miles away. But there's an attitude prevalent in this country which seems to disregard the need, let alone the desire, to learn another language. It's true that English is widely spoken across the world, but for this we seem to resolve that there's no point in learning another language, and in doing this we lose out culturally and economically. As a student of French linguistics, I want to collaborate with a wide range of people and bring a real interest and awareness to this country of other languages and cultures. Cinema is a medium that allows us a unique view into a world we never normally encounter and can give us a far more candid and intimate portrayal of a country than news bulletins and statistics. Mark Cousins' 2010 documentary, First Movie, let us see an entirely different Iraq through the eyes of children. The 2008 Iranian documentary, The Glass House, followed four disadvantaged young women in a women's rehabilitation centre in Tehran. During my sixth form, I was part of an exchange funded by the British Film Institute, which gave students at our college and our corresponding college in Lille the means to shoot and present our own bilingual films. My idea is to try and take the cameras further to people in schools or colleges or universities abroad who wouldn't normally get the chance to tell their stories, and by showing these films here, try to open up the rather Anglo-centric worldview of our own population. My name's Frankie Aronovich-Bruce. Thank you very much for listening.